Deshaun Watson, of course, uh, gave uh, Bama fits last year. Uh, the difference pretty much in the Clemson offense, at least from a skill position standpoint, is that uh, Deshaun's got another year under his belt. He did throw 17 picks, two coming against Ohio State. I would say the first one was a bad throw, a bad decision. Guy was covered. The second one was just an amazing play by the safety, getting over and catching the ball just barely in bounds. Uh, Mike Williams, he's kind of the the missing X factor versus what we saw last year because they had – tremendous playmakers at wide receiver, but not that guy that could blow the the lid off the defense. And Mike Williams is that guy. Uh, your thoughts about Alabama's defense one year later and, and kind of the differences? Well, it's, it's interesting, Mark. I mean, we talked to some guys uh, in the last media days uh, in Atlanta, and you know they left that game against, against Clemson with the national championship, but a lot of the defenders were upset with the way that they played, uh, or at least with the way – that they gave up a, a chunk of yardage and a lot of points to Clemson. So, you know, even with the championship, they weren't very content with their efforts. So, you know, as much as this is a rematch and a revenge opportunity for Clemson, I really think it is for, for the Alabama defense as well. I think they feel like they have something to prove after what they did out in Glendale last year, which is kind of a scary thought, uh, you know, if you're a Clemson fan. Um, but the other thing that I think that they do really well that will give Deshaun trouble, and you mentioned it, him throwing the ball has been – been an issue this year with all the interceptions Alabama can keep a quarterback in the pocket much more than they have in recent years I mean even last year they they had trouble keeping Deshaun uh contained and I, I think this year this defense is different they can deal with the players they have and they can deal with three and four guys um so that could create some problems for, for Watson if he has to sit back and, and make those throws against you know six seven uh defenders in the backfield uh, so we'll see I mean I think uh I think he's a he's the most talented player that they'll have faced this year, and this is the chance for Alabama's defense to really seal their legacy. I mean, we've talked about it all year. It's been the storyline in Tuscaloosa. Is this the best defense of all time? Um, you know, some people say yes, some say no, but if they can go out and shut down Clemson, I think you really have an argument. Now, I think the one thing that happens sometimes, Ben, in postseason play, and now it's been it's been magnified by the college football playoff, is that teams, even though they're playing a high level of football, high level of opponent they they see uh, a unit of players or maybe an entire defense or offense that just overwhelms them because they've seen nothing like that and Clemson certainly going to see that I would say Ohio State maybe Florida State the best defenses that they saw all year uh, no question one of those two defenses was the best defense and I would say probably Ohio State but Alabama just playing at another level so that might be the shock factor for the Clemson offense for the Alabama defense though I'm trying to think looking at their schedule uh, maybe Ole Miss when they were hitting on all cylinders Chad Kelly early in the year before they had all the injuries and with the playmakers they have on the outside maybe that was the the closest thing that Alabama's seen to this uh, Clemson offense? Probably. I mean, that, they probably had the most playmakers at Ole Miss, and it was before that season tanked for them. Um, you know, and Arkansas was was pretty effective. But, yeah, outside of that, I mean, this Washington team we thought would pose more of a threat, but Browning went from, you know, one of the top young quarterbacks in football to, you know, will he even get drafted by the NFL with the, with the size and the way he looked in that game? So Alabama's defense does that to you, but this is by far – the toughest opponent they'll face offensively just because of the weapons they have outside and because Deshaun can make something happen with his feet if something breaks down, if the play breaks down. So, you know, this this will be the toughest test, and I, I can't wait to see it because they have an opportunity, and, I, and the defense is as good as most of us believe. You know, they could, hold, they could hold Clemson to, you know, 15 points or so and come out of that game feeling like this is uh, one of the best we've seen, at least in our lifetime. So Ben and I get together about once a week to talk some Alabama football. We like to call it Mark Rogers TV Alabama edition. Uh, tonight, uh, Ben, on our, our our flagship show, as we like to say here, Mark Rogers TV's college football coast to coast every Wednesday night, 8 o'clock Eastern time. So Ben, I'm not going to hold you to a pick if you haven't made it yet. Uh, I, I know that that's going to be released at some time. So if, if you're not ready for it, where can we find your prediction when it's when it's going to come out? Yeah, we'll have them up at Tide1029.com. Uh, we'll probably have those out Friday or Saturday. I'm going to make my way to Tampa in a couple of days, leaving Friday morning. So uh, once I get down there, we'll do media day Saturday, and then uh, we'll probably get the predictions down. Myself and everybody else at Tide1029. We have about 
seven, eight guys that uh, we'll put down predictions. So we'll have those. I don't know if anybody will pick against Alabama. I think it's only happened one time this season, maybe twice in the last two or three years. So uh, it would be very surprising if somebody actually picked Clemson. But who knows? Think crazier things have happened. 